Hey, what's going on? My name is Mike Acosta from BPM Sounds, and welcome to our brand new series of videos titled Producer Hacks. Now, these videos are gonna shift the focus a bit, not so much on how to make certain types of music, but this is gonna be dealing with more so the software and hardware instruments being used to make your music and all the little hidden features or maybe little tips and tricks or certain combo button pushes that we don't really know about that aren't in the manual and how we can access those features to maximize our workflow for our music production. So let's get started with one of my favorites that I like to call chord stepping within Ableton Live 10. Let's get started. All right, so here we are inside Ableton Live 10 for the Ableton Live hack number one that I like to call chord stepping. So I have a mini track loaded here and I will be using Serum. So here's that. And we'll be using a simple Rhodes keyboard. Okay, real, real simple. And now what I'm gonna do is on the MIDI track, highlight a region, right click, and we'll go ahead and insert a MIDI clip there. Now, first thing that you're gonna wanna do inside the piano roll edit screen here is you're going to want to activate the MIDI editor preview button. It's this little button here that looks like headphones. Go ahead and turn that on. Now that that is activated, we're ready to do this. How many times have you been trying to play chords or find a chord and then you come up with something that sounds really great? You go and hit record, you get everything set up and then you forgot which keys you were playing and you have to fiddle around until you come up with it again. So here is a really cool method to avoid that. Let's go ahead and input a few notes. And there's our chord, so let's hold those notes down again. And while we're holding down the notes, we're going to tap on the right arrow of our QWERTY keyboard. And notice that it's actually inputted the note information for that entire chord. So now I'm gonna go ahead and input another note and I'll add an additional note so that we have five notes. And we simply tap on the right arrow. And there we go, there's another chord that's been inputted into the piano roll edit screen. Let's add in another chord. And let's go ahead and add in one last chord. On this chord, I'm actually gonna start with a lower note. There we go. So now we have a small little chord progression here. And what we can do is simply copy and paste this over. And then on the second copy that we made here, we can actually go and get more creative with this. Since the notes are all in there already, we can shorten a note here. And on this last one, let's shorten that and go. All right, so let's loop this really quick and let's see what this all sounds like. So there you go, real, real easy method for discovering and coming up with uh, new chords and inputting them immediately right into the piano roll edit without forgetting what you were playing. So I hope this has helped you out. It is absolutely one of my personal favorite little tricks with Ableton Live 10 when I'm creating music. Make sure you subscribe down below so that you're constantly up to date with all of our BPM Sound Sessions videos and Producer Hack videos as we do have some more of those coming your way. Again, subscribe down below so that you don't miss it. My name is Mike Acosta from BPM Sounds. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.